Pretty big news coming out of NASA's Artemis One mission. So NASA has three potential dates to launch the giant moon rocket, with the first coming next month. All of this comes after a mostly successful wet dress rehearsal last month. News Six's James Barvero breaks down the timeline. On this July 20th, 1969. It's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. 53 years after Neil Armstrong stepped foot on the lunar surface, NASA announces a possible launch date for returning to the moon. In a new teleconference, NASA says the Artemis One two-hour launch window could open at 8.33 in the morning of August 29th, with backup launch dates on September 2nd and September 5th. We're here today to say, hey, we think we're on a good path to get to attempts on those dates. Earlier this month, after the most recent testing at Pad 39B, the 322-foot Space Launch System rolled back inside the Vehicle Assembly Building to make final preparations ahead of launch, including fixing a hydrogen leak. We have replaced those seals on the core stage. We are in the process of the retest of those seals to make sure we don't have any leaks there. When SLS launches, NASA says three mannequins will ride in the Orion capsule's flight around the moon before the astronauts are on board, starting with Artemis II. Then as soon as 2025, NASA says Artemis 3 will be the first time astronauts walk on the moon in more than 50 years. Launch day is going to be here before we know it. Today's anniversary is a good reminder of what a privilege it is to be a part of a mission like this. And before the launch attempt, NASA says SLS could roll out of the VAB and back to the launch pad as soon as August 18th. On the Space Coast, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6.